Hi guys, my name's Ellie. Welcome to my channel. And today we have some clothes to try on. This is the Dia and Co. Um, active box for workout clothes. It is very hot, but yes, I'm still wearing a sweater because I just got home from work. <sighs> the bra has already come off because I don't like it. It's been a weird week. It's only Wednesday. And I snapped the underwire on the bra that I like, so now I have to go through the bras that I have not been wearing because I don't like them and see which one is like the closest to a good fit. That turns out I don't really like any of them, but especially if you're testing it out, you put it on and it feels fine. You wear it to work and like within an hour or two it's pinching in a weird spot or tugging somewhere or just digging in in a bad spot. You're like, I live a 20 minute drive from my house. I can't just like run home and change bras in the middle of the day. But we have clothes to try on. Uh, I also have a one of the fashion boxes downstairs to try on. So this needs to happen quickly. And I'm a little less inclined to keep all of the items because I will have to, you know, check out with two boxes and I don't have another pay period for a week. But, ooh, ooh, there's a bra. <laughs> I was just talking about bras. So, there is this nice gray and pink bra. This is cute. Quite cute. I don't know how I feel about hook and eye closures on bras in the back because I don't know about you guys, but I sure as fuck don't have the energy to work one of these if I've just finished working out, let alone necessarily, like, the muscle flexibility to get my hands up there and hold them long enough to undo a closure, let alone a four hook closure, oof. So we'll see. I much prefer if they're going to be something this intense to have a front closure because then you just, yeah. but we'll figure it out I try it on. Ooh, this is cute. This is very cute. So cute little blue workout tee adorable little cutout detail in the back. I love me a good heat vent. Ooh, so this was a gamble. They put writing on this one. Um, I don't quite get it. Oh, oh. So it says one of a kind. I'd, this is not something that they know, but if I was going to get writing on a workout item. I like it to be like a reference, like a nerdy reference or like a witch reference or something making fun of the fact that I'm working out. So this, you know, affirmation style thing is not really my favorite. And there is a twist detail on the thing. So it's specifically sewn to perpetually be twisted there. And that is not a thing I like, but this does look like a cut I might like. So we will try it on. See what happens. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. This looks like more pants. Ooh, fancy pants with a little slice-up lattice detail. So yeah, black capris, which will probably fit like pants on me. And something, something is happening. These appear to be workout shorts, but they've got like a like a double layer happening. So like compression shorts with like floppy top ones. So we will see how that fits because that is something I'm interested in. Um, I like shorts, but they never seem to be cut at the right length. They're always either so long that they're just they're all the way down to my knee and it doesn't even really give me that much heat adjustment, or they're cut way too high and I'm like even if. Or they're cut way too high, and even if I <laughs> had thighs that didn't touch, which I do not, they touch, they rub, that is a problem. The implication of workout shorts is that you're going to be working out in them. So running, cycling, on some type of machine where your thighs are moving a lot, and even if your thighs don't touch, just kind of hang out, or like it's not an issue on a regular day, it will become an issue very quickly when you're exercising. Especially if your knees are kind of bent in or anything like that, it'll be a problem. So, I don't know how people who wear booty shorts while exercising don't kill somebody 
with the pain in their thighs afterwards, but hopefully these are a good adjustment for that. So, let's see what the pricing is, and we can intercut so let me try and stuff on. So, let's get into the pricing. For the Distinctive Sport Pen Capri Tights with Mesh Cutout Detail in Black, they look like this. Oh, there's some glare. Great. Uh, okay, so. It comes up to a nice spot. Um, these actually feel quite loose. They don't have a lot of compression in them. The leg a bit, I am not a big fan of it. As you can see, comes all the way down to my ankle, even for capris. Which makes me wonder, like, on a regular person, where do they think that was going to be? Because that's, that's right at my knee. So if they were expecting that, that must have been intending to start, like, way up here on a taller person. I'm not that impressed. And they cost $60 for the Goddess Detroit Sports Bra in light gray slash pink, which is in a size 38C, which is my size. Um, good to know that they put that in an actual cup size if they're going to have a hook and eye closure as opposed to a just a medium large extra large type option because boobs don't always work like that anyway that looks like this so right off the bat this bra is not staying um, I don't know if you guys can see how small the cup space is and I'm not even like a high C I'm like like a low C, high B, and these, this is, I'm wondering if they labeled this wrong, because this is not the way this size bra generally fits on me. I cannot, I'm not going to force the back, it's not going to work. This is not the right size. So, either the bra is very, very wrong, or somebody's been lying to me about my bra size. Um, but yeah, this is, it's just not, not fitting, not working. And it cost $56. And then the next three are all from the same brand. So they're confident in this brand. For the Livy Stella T with open back in turquoise. Looks like this. I like it. The arms are a little tight, but again, that's most clothes on my big old arms. I like the scoop edge. I like how this gives me some space without being really high or super low. I did put on a sports bra I have, so you have an idea of how I would be wearing this. I even... Kapow! You can see the back, kind of. Not very well. Um, I like it. The arms are a little... A little tight. But I always... My arms are always just... They're too big for things. Even when things fit the rest of my torso quite well. The arms are not my favorite. Costs thirty four ninety five. Also from Livy, the Savannah Tank in ivory slash pink, which should be the one with the the affirmation on the front. Uh, looks like this. I kind of like it, but I also I don't know. I feel like it's sitting a little off kilter, which is making the words look not straight. But the actual cut of the top itself is quite nice. I I like this. This is nice. Again, I like the scoop detail. I like the fit of this. I like that I'm not messing around with sleeves here. Um, and then the twist. It's very small, so maybe I won't have a problem with it. We'll find out, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Because, you know, you get to see it and I don't. Uh, cost thirty four ninety five, and then also from Libby are the Harbor shorts in black slash pink. They look like this. Shorts. I think I like them. They come up a decent amount on me. I like that they have pockets. That'd be really nice for just throwing some stuff in my pockets and going out. If we're going out for hiking or running or something. Um, they do seem to go far enough down that my thighs would be protected. Uh, I kind of wish that, like, I'm worried that as I do this, this part's going to ride up anyway, but we will just have to figure that out as we go. Who knows? I won't know until I've worn them a bunch, unfortunately. So, that's where we're at on these. And they cost $49.95. I thought we were going to get three in a row. So, the total... 
of all the merchandise in the box is $235.85. We have the $20 styling fee coming off, and then there is a 25% discount if you keep everything in the box, which will knock it down to $58.96. So if I were to keep the whole box, it'd be $156.89. I'm going to go try some stuff on, and then you'll get the clips that went in the previous section, and I will be back with uh, final opinions and what I'm keeping and not keeping. Okay, so feelings. I think I'm only keeping the shorts. I kind of wondered if the first couple of these I was just going to keep everything, uh, but we've had some sizing issues. Uh, that sports bra? Nope, nope. I'm hoping it's a, a individual item issue because the other sports bras have fit fantastically. That one feels much too small. Not like, oh, it's just like right on the edge. Like, it does not fit. The cups are too small. The band is too small. Just even putting on, I'm like, these, these band, this, these straps are too close together. What the fuck? So, that's a no-no because I'm not fucking with that. I'm sure as fuck not giving extra effort to a too small sports bra that I have to clasp in the back <laughs> that I'm then going to be exhausted when I take off and dealing with that and end up just probably ripping the thing trying to get it off because I once I have finished a workout and I'm trying to get out of things uh, I have no patience for sports bras a lot of them end up ripped because I'm just like fuck it no matter how tired I am my rage will come through while being too tired to do it a normal way but so that's out um the capri tights I those were too big which is both good and bad um, again, I'm hoping it's an individual item issue because they, they like slid right down very minimal resistance. So even if they weren't supposed to be like a compression short, they're missing some amount of tightness that would help them stay up during a workout. And they are, I go back and forth on whether or not I care if capris fit like capris or like real pants. They're too long for capris. Um, and the cutout detail has has possibilities, but I, I was not the biggest fan of how my legs looked poking through that section, which I didn't show you guys a lot of, but I don't know. It's just the way it tugs on the fabric at the attachment points of the different laces is just... I'm not at a point where I like that right now. So, a little bit too big. It happens. Um, the turquoise tee is going back. I know I said while I was trying it on that, you know, yeah, the small arms happen, but I could just tell as I was taking it off that I was not excited to put it back on, which means I won't, I won't wear it. Because by the time my arms are small enough that those aren't an issue, I will have forgotten I have it. And I will have changed size overall, so the fit of the body piece is not going to be the same. So, since I'm not excited to wear it... I'm not going to keep it. Uh, I've had a similar issue. Uh, one of the earlier pieces is a, a blank, a black uh, t-shirt with a mesh back. I still wear it sometimes, but I don't reach for it nearly as often as I reach for the other tops, just because the arms are a little tight on that one, um, and they are tighter on the turquoise one. So if I'm not excited about wearing it, I'm not going to buy it, not going to keep it to wear, because I won't wear it, That's just, to be honest. Um, and then this... I haven't put them in the bag yet, so I'm still wearing the last outfit that I was wearing when I was filming bits. Um, the Savannah tank with the one-of-a-kind affirmation. Affer aphorism? Nope, that's not right. I want to say an aphorism is something very uh, very different. It's a long time since English class, so... I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. It's going to bother me. But the uh, one-of-a-kind print. Um, I don't like it. The fit of the actual piece is quite nice. I am not the biggest fan of the twist detail on the back strap, but it's behind me. I wouldn't see it very much. It wouldn't be that big of an issue. Uh, the width of the straps, how far down it's cut, um, the way it hits my hips and everything, that's great. Um, but the combination of the writing on it and where the writing is placed makes it very easy, in my opinion, for it to look like it's not quite on straight. On top of, I don't, 
It's, it's not the kind of things I would put on my workout clothes. I would put on nerdy references or I run so I can eat tacos type shit. The one of a kind or, you know, gym goddess. That that doesn't gel with me. I don't... The, oh, you're such a sweet princess. Mm. The closest I would get is the, the Belle and the Beast type things. And even then, I'm pretty sure we would flip them and I would wear the Beast stuff and my boyfriend would wear the Belle stuff because he would laugh and I would enjoy it. <laughs> so yeah, the little, you know, oh, I'm a yoga goddess type vibe I get from these types of phrases on clothing, it doesn't do it for me, even though I like yoga. I very much do. It's not my style. And it's not the mentality I have going into a gym. My mentality going into a gym is get it the fuck done. And that doesn't really work with, like, cutesy, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna do this and then go get French, which I have done. I'm just, while I'm saying these things, I'm, like, shaming myself because I have done these things, but my mentality going into gym is a lot more aggressive than this type of a little cutesy phrase. So, I'm thinking way too much about it, but as you can tell, it's in my head and I don't really like it. So, unfortunately, it is also going back, especially because no matter... The fit was is great, just like the color of the other shirt is great. If I'm not excited about wearing it, I'm not going to wear it, so I'm not keeping it. It's unfortunate that the little phrase in the front ruins it for me, but it does. So, we are only keeping one thing. Ooh. So yeah, but that does mean I can now go do the fashion one, which I have more freedom to keep stuff out of. So hopefully you'll get these soon, and we will do that. I will see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching. Um, let me know how you guys feel about that, because it's, it's a thing I kind of forget about, is that I do... I have a bit of a personal style for most clothing. It, it ranges quite a bit, because I do a lot more of the cutesy, feminine, delicate stuff for my day-to-day -day clothing. And I kind of forget that I also have like a personal style for going to the gym. Not even just of the way I like things to fit, based on the activities I'm going to do, but based on the how I will feel wearing them and how that will affect my mentality I have going into a workout. Which, this actually turned out as quite a nice look too. I did. I put my hair up so you guys could, in theory, see the back of things and I don't work out with my hair down, so makes silly to, makes me feel silly to try on workout clothes in a a way that I won't. Same way I'm wearing sports bras while trying on these tops because I'm not likely going to wear them with a regular um, like underwire bra. That's super unlikely. I will almost always be wearing them with a sports bra. So I'm trying them on with a sports bra because that's how they will be utilized. So tell me down below how you guys feel. Did you ever figure out like your gym style? Or any of you like the more delicate, you know, having nice little like inspirational quotes on your water bottles type people. How does that work for you? Because it doesn't work for me. I thrive a little bit more on negative reinforcement for exercise. So, I'm gonna go do the other thing. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know how these are for you. If you have any updates, if you actually want to see more of me wearing these at the gym. Because I am excited about these shorts. I am interested to see how they work. And how they work out for me. But everything else, unfortunately, is going back. I'll see you all next time.